Maybe I shouldn't have filled up that water jug before I got here. That's what's holding us back. What? We have a dam. Dam. Uh oh. Uh, uh this is gonna suck. Falling in a hole. I hear Got all the beaver work over there. Yeah, no rush to get past this. Nice and easy. Every time I put up this tent, I'm just amazed at how quick, oh, I know. easy it yeah, is. So easy. I just left my knife out. Shouldn't do that. Thank you, Simon. Well, don't thank me yet. It might not be any good. Hmm. Thanks for nothing, Simon.
Oh. Oh. oh, that is fantastic. <laughs> oh. Not damp in here at all. <laughs> we should have just brought baby bags instead of the hot tent. <laughs> no, 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 I think the hot tent's good. <laughs> Well, we're setting off from the portage of the Beaver Dam back on the river and hopefully have good water from here on out. That'd be nice. Yeah. You gotta learn to shut up. <laughs> Weird, eh?
That's done. Nice. Oh, we're gonna run into rock, Mike. Are we alright? I think we're okay. Alright, okay. I just don't, don't want to get too shallow in the corner. Mm -hmm. Well, the next person will be able to see that one. Yeah. <laughs> there we, go again. we have done the rest of the paddlers a favor. We have. We've marked every single rock. <laughs> they have to come looking for us because we disappear. They'll just, <laughs> they'll just follow the, the marks down through. the river, and when the marks stop, they'll be like, "Well, they got to be here somewhere." Yeah. We're not sure what they did with the canoe, but <laughs> we you probably have it ground down to the gunnel. <laughs> down to aluminum. Yeah. It's like sunshine spinner. Holy shit! Thing hardly hit the water. Yeah, I know. Oh, 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 oh. That's legal. Is it? Yeah. Broke trout don't get very big. Six inches is a legal trout. Really? Yeah. That's not very big. I think four inches, I think, is legal. You want to have trout for supper? Well, if you're catching them like that, we're probably going to get a bigger one. Yeah, but we might, we can get up to five. Oh, can we? Oh, oh well. Or at least three. Anyway. All right, we'll let him go. Right here, Mike, you think? Uh, it looks kind of messy in there. Yeah, it looks messy both ways. Yeah, we have to be careful there. Yeah. We should be able to glide over it, I hope. Or do you want to skim the left side? No, well, I don't want to get stopped caught in that crap that's in the middle of the river there.
That's deep. I got a gunnel in the crunch. Nice man tights. Thank you. You did jelly. Yeah, that's what it is. They went. Looks good. Thank Sounds you, good. So as you guys can see the orientation of the tent is different than when we initially set it up. After our initial setup we found that the ground was not as uh, even as we would have liked and this uh, fixes the problem. So looks really nice. Nice setup. We just have to watch our step on the way out. <laughs> it's uh, it could be a bit dicey but uh, eh, it'll make for funny stories if somebody forgets. So we're probably going to wrap up filming for the evening, unless Simon had something <laughs> deep much, and provocative no, he'd like to say. Coming out of me now. <laughs> stay on the river, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. We're having a lot of fun, um, especially the last day and a half where the, the water levels have really increased. That's made things a whole lot better for us. Yeah, it, as soon as we had water, that really helped. Yeah, it, it, it changed it for us. And we did a lot of a lot of kilometers today. So tomorrow uh, is going to be our last day on the water, but not our last night. Uh, we are spending another night. Tomorrow we're going to be doing something pretty interesting. We're going to be crossing a, a dam, a hydro, an old abandoned hydroelectric dam. Very small dam, but one nonetheless. Then we're going to go into a, a national park. So I've never ever done that section of river from this end before. So it's going to be fun and interesting.
Well, we can see the uh, the dam there in the distance. Well, it looks like we can shoot right through that culvert there. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I want to try it. You hear that? <laughs> you wanted to go through that. That looks like there's a couple of birds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Probably right where the rocks are. Okay. It's cheap. Yeah. Not super easy. <laughs> Yeah. Well, folks, uh, I didn't realize the river was this wide on the other side of that dam and right now we have a front facing wind and as you guys can see a long stretch without any wind breaks so
put that in on the turf or not. That's good for now. All right, folks, uh, so end of day four, and here we are. We're in the uh, Chibiguac National Park. The, the Park Service, as mentioned earlier, they have their own uh, system for determining uh, allowances of having a campfire, and luckily, we're able to have one. Um, so we take just a minute and uh, kind of talk a little bit about the trip and how it went and our thoughts. So uh, one thing that was abundantly clear is that there's a lot of woodpeckers on this roof. <laughs> <laughs> They're everywhere. Like they literally followed us down river. It was unbelievable. <laughs> I didn't really actually capture any on camera, but we kept on hearing them through the whole entire trip yeah. over yeah. around uh, 60 kilometers, I think. So uh, pretty crazy. Um, also, um, the uh, the route that we took is one that used to be taken uh, quite a few years ago, several years ago. It was a very uh, popular. Uh, paddling route which uh, not used as much anymore because uh, they've made some changes to the road system and I think it's really affected the flow in the river yeah and it was evident to us why people don't use it anymore <laughs> that first day was a bit rough yeah well, it's hard to believe I mean a month ago we would have had snow and ice here and yeah literally within four weeks we've ran out of water to paddle down the river it's yeah. unbelievable it's incredible unbelievable. how quickly the water levels have yep. dropped yep. Uh, day two uh, what started out a bit the same, but eventually halfway through the day, yeah, it got better. Got a lot better. Uh, unfortunately for us, uh, as of day two, we found out that we couldn't have a fire in the tent, <laughs> and we got a cold night. Yeah, that wasn't very warm, but no. <laughs> thankfully I had my long johns and toque and everything with me <laughs> because I also brought my summer sleeping bag, thinking yeah. that we were going to be a bit warmer I yeah yeah no, it's always we, hard to pack for something like this you never yeah you never know what you're oh, gonna absolutely. get so we both thought it was gonna be warmer and it, it turned out to be a chilly night but uh, slept pretty well nonetheless yeah. oh yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah everything worked out uh, and the following uh, day I mean the, the water levels were, were really good had uh, some great paddling for the next uh, part of the whole part of the trip really we uh, didn't have any struggles didn't have to get in and out of the boat just to fix stuff so really uh, turned out as good as we could have hoped so uh, I wish I could have caught more fish uh, unfortunately <laughs> it almost became it wasn't a, for lack of trying no like, like it wasn't for lack. well I didn't fish as much as I usually would uh, but uh, we did have some kilometers to make so basically you're kind of looking at the uh, time so uh, we didn't hit as many spots as uh, traditionally would but uh, still had uh, fun caught one trout and we decided to let it go in the hopes of catching more and uh, I think uh, hubris caught up to me, <laughs> didn't catch any more. But uh, eventually we made it past the dam and uh, paddled uh, down here through some winds, but nothing major. And, no, and tomorrow we've just got a short paddle to yeah. pull out, we'll be all set. Yeah, so uh, Simon's uh, partner, Jean, she's going to be picking us up uh, tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow morning will probably be uh, pretty limited in terms of filming, just packing up and heading out. Uh, but uh, really, uh, all in all, just a, a fun, fun trip. It was nice to revisit a river that I grew up on and see how it's changed so much. Uh, and a lot has changed. And so if you're in uh, an area where you can explore a river that hasn't been developed much, take advantage of, advantage of it as much as you can because more and more as we're going down, we're seeing new and new, newer and newer cottages kind of showing up here and there, which... Uh, uh, it's nice uh, for them, but it changes the, the, the outdoor feel of it, so go out and explore as much as you can. Finding finding a wild river is not actually all that easy these no. days, unfortunately. So. No. But yeah. for the most part, the, it was few and far between. We were pretty much uh, out there in the wilderness. Uh, well, let's just say we didn't meet anybody else out on the no. water while we were there. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, all in all, really a great trip. I call that a success. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
No, it was fantastic. I want to thank uh, Simon for coming out with me. A uh, great paddling partner to have. We had a lot of laughs yeah, along no, the way. But thanks for having me, Mike. That was a good time. No, it was great. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will be uh, talking to you again in the morning if you're still with us by that point. But thanks again and uh, have a good night, folks. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, between a couple of trees there. And that's it. There she be. Oh, that's a little right there. Yeah. Good job, Simon. Yep. Likewise. Oh. Yep. Thanks again for watching. That was probably too much of a close up, but whatever. Yeah, that might be a nostril <laughs> than anybody needed to see, but. <laughs> <laughs> Nostril can. It's the thought that counts. Yeah. Right? You can't have a proper canoe trip without portaging your canoe at some point. <laughs> <laughs>